Hi there. I have a question for you. It's kind of a personal question. Are you a tool junkie? Now you might be thinking, what's a tool junkie? Well, have you ever gone to a tool store and innocently walking around, see something on a shelf and you think to yourself, I don't have that. I don't even know what that is. But it says right there, it's for woodworking. And I don't have that. So, you buy the tool, you take it home, you put it in a drawer, set it on a shelf, put it in the corner, two days later you forgot you bought the thing. Well, my friend, you're a tool junkie. And I just want to say, welcome to the club. I don't think this is a bad thing, because if it's for woodworking, and you're a woodworker, someday you might need that. So how can it be a bad thing to have that? And before I go any further, I just wanted you to know that I think this should stay between you and me, which is another way of saying, Jean, don't tell Gail. I don't see any reason she has to know about this. She probably does anyway. But anyway, back to being a tool junkie. I don't think it's a bad thing. I've got all kinds of things around here I've never used, but I might need them someday. In fact, just a couple of days ago, I needed one that I bought six or seven years ago, and I pretty much forgot that I had it. I was turning a half inch piece, and I was holding it in my pin jaws. Now they work just great, except that these jaws will leave marks along the shaft. And that's not what you want if it's something that you're going to want to finish. Don't want to have to sand it down, make it any smaller. Here's a half inch dowel for instance. And then I remembered that six or seven years ago, I bought a set of collet chucks. And this is them here. Now they work just like the chuck on your drill press, except that instead of having just maybe three or four jaws, they've got a whole bunch of them. I hope you can make these out here. And when they tighten down, they don't leave specific little pressure points. Now the way they work is, this is the body for it. You just drop this collet in the body, put your piece through, put the sleeve nut on top of it, tighten it down, and it holds it very well. In fact, it holds so well, I'll demonstrate here, you have to push fairly hard just to get it through that collet. But if you just drop it in there, and then try pushing it in, it's not going to go. Just the pressure of this sitting in there closes those up enough to hold it very, very well. So you have to push it through, set it in here, put the sleeve nut on, and this will fit through the spindle, through the headstock. When you tighten this up, it's not going anywhere. You can turn however you want to. So this was a great thing to remember that I had. Again, I don't think being a tool junkie is such a bad thing. Now this is made to fit on a one inch by eight thread per inch spindle. If you have one that's 16 threads, uh, three quarter inch, 16 threads, you can use this as an adapter. Now mine has an inch and a quarter spindle, so I have this adapter and I can use it. It's a great tool, I'm really glad I found this. I'm happy I have it. I may never use it again, but I'm happy I have it. So next time I find something that I bought in my tool junkie days, which is pretty much every day, I'll bring it in and I'll show it to you and see if maybe you can use it. So if you happen to pick one of these up, let me know. Tell me what you think of it. I think it's a great thing to have around. Have a great day. Have fun in your shop and be safe. Thanks for watching. Hope you step in again next time I'm here. Drop by the shop anytime. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye now. Collet chucks are available for a number of different sizes. This particular set will handle quarter inch, three eighths inch, half inch, five eighths inch, and three quarter inch. I believe there are other sizes also available.